there's a great reason we focus on human connection as defining our relationship and providence with our patients. Often patients, especially coming in with hernias, not uncommon think it's a, a sign of cancer, when really a hernia is just related to some sort of defect or abnormality either in the abdominal wall or the fascia in the pelvis and groin that allows a part of organ to slip through and poke through in the abdomen. The first thing that we do is comfort them, let them know they have an engaged partner in guiding them through this, and then provide reassurance that this is something that we can take care of with lifestyle intervention or management, or it takes surgical care to repair this. We have an option for them that best fits with their goals. If you notice pain or a bulge, especially with coughing, bending, straining, or lifting, you may have a hernia. If you're having discomfort, please see your primary care provider and, and obtain further diagnosis. The vast majority of hernias, if they're significant enough to require surgical intervention, can be treated in two ways. Either a laparoscopic surgery, where they use a camera, make a tiny incision, which is able to heal much more quickly than an open repair. Sometimes the hernia can be large enough that they would want to do an, what they call an open procedure, where they make a little bit larger incision. That's something that you would absolutely want to discuss with your primary care provider as far as what's the best option. The problem with hernias is they can limit your activity, so they can limit how much you can lift. If you have a large hernia and you're growing Sometimes that can limit your ability for sexual function. It's uncomfortable. Men are significantly more prone to hernias than women. Roughly 25% of men over the course of their lives will experience a hernia. Lifestyle changes that we can make to help avoid hernias would be being respectful of what we should and shouldn't lift. If you exert a lot of force, you can push that little loop of bowel through a rent or defect in the abdominal fascia that you didn't know you have. Keeping your core strong, engaging your abdominal musculature as part of your exercise routine will give you that strong band of muscle around those organs to keep them inside. Also maintaining healthy weight. The healthier your weight, the less that you're kind of lugging around when you change those positions and more likely you are to protect yourself from hernias. Men's health is again being able and willing and understanding that there is strength and vulnerability. The last thing we want to see is men who delay things to the last moment and now need a big surgery. And we have to have a shift in that. We're seeing that might be a, a fine focus when we're in our 20s and 30s, but we're seeing really significant medical problems that develop in men as they age that the vast majority of are preventable if they had a good relationship with a primary care provider.